in a bit of a funny mood. We're in a goofy mood. Prince just said that, so you guys, obviously we, we didn't post a video yesterday because I nearly passed out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not it's even not kidding. Funny. It's not it's funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. So we was at a restaurant working, you know, getting some, some work done. I was literally having bad stomach cramps and basically nearly passed out and she said that, oh, it's coming out of your sick time. Because <laughs> we didn't post. You got a certain amount of sick time. We we gonna start a lot in sick time because not being in a good mood or not feeling well really be hindering a lot of things we be trying to do. It does. It does take away from you know us filming because we have to be in the mood to film. But I think we're getting better. You know, even if we aren't in the mood, just picking the camera up and just like yeah, and just showing what, showing what whatever, whatever mood, mood it is. You're gonna see that and you're gonna feel that, and that's just gonna be that. Right. So we're talking stereotypes today. We're talking lesbian stereotypes. So we have a list of. St Stereotypes for your average or typical lesbian out there, I guess. Yeah, and we're gonna react to them. We're simply gonna react to what the what the I, we I have haven't a seen few. Them. We have a few. I but there is a lot of um, stereotypical myths and theories yeah. about lesbians. I don't even like that word lesbians, and I wouldn't definitely. I'm, I don't personally. I really don't like that word. I know it, it's, it's just it's like. A, yeah. I don't know, anyway. Um, but I, I don't think I would see us as stereotypical lesbians. Sorry. Girl on girl. What do you mean? You wanna go on? <laughs> girl on girl. Girl on girl. <laughs> girl. I've outgrew labels. Let's say Aww. that. I think I've personally have outgrown the whole label thing. Like, you know. I do I've like out, people I've outgrown, in a I've outgrown focusing on on labels. I think that when I was younger, I tried, like when I first came, was coming into who I am as a person and trying to, to figure out what feels good to me and what makes sense, it was a lot of you know, looking for self-identification basically. And I was I was creating my my like perfect stud in my head based on what outside outside forces. Mm. You know what I mean? So of course I'm gonna fit into a stereotype then because I'm I'm basically trying to fit into what I think a stud is. Except for instead of just being myself, and that's what I am now. I'm just myself. Like it's just it is what it is. I've, det I've detached yeah. from trying to be and just be. Oh, that's a bar. Oh, Let's get it again. I said I've detached from trying to be, and now I just be. <laughs> I'm ill with the words. Yeah, write that one down. Alright, so the first stereotypical thing that people think about girl on girl. Girl on girl. <laughs> all girl on girl shave their hair. All lesbians shave their hair, which is not true for me. Anyway. Shave what hair? Like the shave hair? Shave their hair. hair, yeah, like shave oh. their hair. Like, you know, have like short hair or have like. be like an old stereotype. Oh, you mean like me getting a haircut and stuff? Yeah, like getting a shape up and all oh, that. Oh yeah, type that's of thing. definitely a part of being a stud for me. If I had to say, <laughs> I got to get, I got to get my hair, I got to get my hair lined up. I guess that, I guess that. Yeah, because I mean, on movies and TV true. shows and stuff, like they paint the pictures of lesbian as short buzz cut hair, like really it's short like the on the ideal, sides. The, like, yeah. It's like the poster. It's like the poster picture for the way television televises that. I say mine, so I guess I fall under that category. So that's one for me. Oh, one for you. One for me. <laughs> Check. There's always a femme and there's always a stud. That's not always true either. That's but that not works for case, that, yeah. that works for us. We check that too. We check that stereotype too. But yeah, we do. Check, I'm sorry, you were gonna say something. I cut you off. No, I already said that. I chat too much. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna cut off no more. I just like to talk. Damn. Yeah, I know we both like to talk. And I used to never talk. Do you remember when I used to never talk? Do y'all remember when T never spoke on camera really? <laughs> Go back to one of the old videos and she just Guys, like, I cannot watch the old videos because I'm so embarrassed. I'm like, oh my gosh. What the damn see I was gonna say Femme something. Femme and else. stud. There's always a feminine stud. We 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 matched that. Because I do identify as a stud. I'm a stud. So we we check that box then. We, we check, check that, that box. box, yeah. Are you not a femme? Are you not a feminine woman? I am a feminine woman. All right, then you're a femme. <laughs> Check. Check. <laughs> okay, next one. Oh, lesbians own an LGBTQ flag. I don't own, we don't own anything. We don't own anything. But a lot yeah. of lesbians do have yeah. that flag, especially if you've like gone to Pride or, you know, yeah. something like that. I think, you know, a lot of people wear it it's proudly. proudly. It's yeah. Proud. So why else would you wear a flag? It's, it's just to show off your pride, you know what I mean? I'm not big on flags. Especially the American one. Either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. No, because no, we drove around a neighborhood no. the other day. We wanted to go check out some houses, and there was literally just like American flags, flags everywhere. And she, she's yeah. like, "Why did why do you guys have to have flags on your houses to show that you're American when you live in America? Like in England, you're never gonna see an English flag nowhere except from Buckingham Palace mm. ever. 
But we don't own any rainbow flags. We don't. I definitely did when I was younger. I've We've never, never even been to Pride together. I know, we're, we're gonna, gonna get to that. that. We're gonna get to that Okay, one. my fault. Oh, I didn't know that was in the thing. Spilling the tea, but I didn't know that was in the thing. <laughs> All lesbians move quickly. I think that's just yes. I think because women know what women want, so they're just like, okay, this is gonna work, we're gonna make it work. Da -da -da. You know, where it's probably different with straight couples, like the guys giving like different signals and yeah. the girls like, oh, you know? So I think that's maybe why they call it you hauling. You hauling. You and we definitely <laughs> fall under that. We I plane hauled you. You hauled. <laughs> I didn't come with my U haul, I came with my plane. We there, we checked that too. Oh god, yeah, we checked that we one. We checked that too. Yeah, we moved sure. pretty quick. Oh, a month after. I think a month is. Baby, you came yeah. to see me. It's a bit quick. It's a bit quick. And never and left. <laughs> it, it was immediately. Like from the moment you came to visit me, you were basically living with me. Okay, we check another box. So we check, we we check for the quickest. Okay. I think we hold we we should be the poster child for the U haul. I know <laughs> U haul sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> All lesbians hate men. Now this one's crazy. <laughs> this one's deep. Uh, this one is deep. I don't. I don't hate men. Like I don't hate men. I don't have a hate for men. But I don't. Don't you know? Go. Oh men. Ah, uh, you know. <laughs> Like men, <laughs> and I, yeah. I think it's all about the experience that like, you've had with guys. Like yeah. especially like some lesbians really do hate men because of the way they've men have treated them. Especially say you're in a relationship with a woman, guy comes and they're all like kind of like creepy on you. Like oh you want a threesome or oh duh, duh, duh. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's the type of creepy shit we don't like. By you, you hate men? I don't hate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate men. I don't hate men at all. I just love women. Just, just that Wait, simple. What? I love women. What do you mean you love women? You especially say you love me. I'm sorry, I was just speaking as an individual outside of my marriage for a second. Please. <laughs> I apologize, Dick. I love my woman. But that's basically what I would say. Like if somebody was like, oh, you're a lesbian because you hate men, I'd be like, no, I just love women. Like why does why, why Yeah, like you can have a preference. Why is hate driving my my decisions? Because yeah. it's not. Lesbians must fancy all women they come across. So you know how, say if you was to tell someone, like a girl, maybe who's straight, that you don't know, mm -hmm. and you're like, oh yeah, I like women, I'm a lesbian, or da da da, not that we go around saying, hello, hey, we're lesbians, but they might immediately think, oh, so you fancy me. You ever had that? Which part of it? Like me actually fancying the person or the person thinking I'm fancying them? Yeah, just because you're, just because you like women. I wouldn't know. Cause I wasn't paying attention. Cause if I, if I'm on some cool stuff, which I am, I'm just, I'm a cool person, right? And I meet a chick, and I and like let's say we meet at a dinner, right? And I introduce myself, hey, what's up? How you doing? I'm being friendly, like oh, you know, crack a joke. She may walk away thinking I'm fancying her. I'm I'm not gonna know, cause I'm not fancying you. I'm not checking for you like that. But okay, <laughs> I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just don't that's, know. Yeah, that's the way this one is going. Well, it says that, that that's the stereotype. Like oh, just cause you're just cause you're a lesbian that you you like. You fancy all women. I mean, that's. I think that's crazy. That's just like the stereotype where it says men and women, heterosexual men and women, can't be friends together. There's know, people that it's believe just in a that. Stereotype. I know, but I'm saying they, they, they just. The stereotypes. They it's just, okay. <laughs> it's okay. Lesbians don't shave. Don't shave. That's wild. We don't fit that stereotype at all. I shave. That's that's like an old stereotype too. Though. Yeah, that's a very old stereotype. Old yeah, stereotype these are kind of older stereotypes. Yeah, I feel like still, these came from the L word. Well, I did. Try yeah, I did try and type in 2022 when I was getting these. Ones. Really? Yeah, I guess I'm still terrorists. We, I think we we gotta do it. We gotta redo this and do modern day stereotypes. You're always saying we gotta redo something. Let's do I what we keep my promises though. So what's wrong with it? Let's go. So um, that's definitely a note. Like that's not that's not true. We definitely yeah, that's shave. Not true. I like, think that just depends on the person. I shave every day. I think that's pretty bad. But I shave every day. I don't shave every day. Yeah, you shave like once a week, but I have like thick Sicilian hair, like. Like thick. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> are you Sicilian? No. Okay. But like Sicilian. Oh. You know, God. Sicilian hair is thick. I I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All of me is just like boys. Check. I dress like a boy. Eh -eh. You don't dress like a boy. No. Except when you're in my clothes. Then yeah, then I technically dress like, like a boy. boy. Check. No, just playing. <laughs> But I think nowadays it's not even a case of oh you have to be lesbian to dress like a boy because I like, it's like the style. I think right like nowadays it's a fashion it's a trend. trend. Like I order stuff from where you order things, which yeah. is in the men's section, and I think it looks pretty cute. Yeah. And it's I'm comfy. Not, 
the, the, and then things are just things right now in the world like the the gender aspect is being stripped from the clothes really or from the like people just wearing yeah like things are want. unisex like, now dudes uh-huh. just wearing skirts you know what I mean like straight dudes are wearing skirts on high on big platforms yeah. like so it's like what does that even mean dressed like a boy you know what I'm saying if we want to keep it jiggy yeah remember when we watched the Balenciaga show. Yeah, the skirts and all that. They're yeah. going crazy with the fashions. Mm-hmm. All right, next one. All lesbians have tattoos. Damn, I'm checking about all of these <laughs> joints. I am very stereotypical. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we got. Ta- yeah, you've got. Look, I mean, you've yeah, got you lots look. of tattoos. I got a lot of tattoos, and I want to get some more too. I have a few tattoos. I'm start on my legs. A few. I think I'm just gonna get like one more. Maybe when we have children, I have like our children. That's about it. So yeah, most. Some lesbians have tires, but I don't think that's something to put somebody in a category because of. But I'm in that category. I'm you in, in that category. category. She's in that category. All lesbians have short nails. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. I like that one. <laughs> I think that's. I think that's, that's a, a funny one because I obviously don't have short nails. I did for a short period of time. Yeah. Has with the pun. The pun. <laughs> <laughs> I did for a short period of time, yeah. but um, I don't. We in our relationship, it's not necessary for me to have short nails. What? Damn. So <laughs> in our business. No. Oh my god. They are family. They don't care. <laughs> yes. No short nails. She doesn't have to have short nails. Yeah, and plus you love my long nails. I like your long nails because I like how I look on you. I think you rock them, you own them. That's how I mentioned you always used to rock your long nails. I like it. It's a part of. I think it's a part of your swag. It's a part of me. And I have short nails, obviously. All lesbians go to Pride. Check. Um, have you ever been to Pride? Oh my god, let me let me talk. <laughs> let me just... I've been to Pride. I've been to Pride, um, like, two two times. Yeah. I think yeah it's a really have, fun time. It's a good time. But I used to go every single year, but I used to go to Jacket for Chicks. Jacket for Chicks? I knew you was going to say that! For chicks. Now, I mean, like, I, I still want to experience... I want to go to Pride with you. I want to experience Pride with my... My wifey, for sure, for sure. Yeah, but the thing fun. is, since, since we've been married, it's been the COVID thing. So, like, we... Yeah. They know, have pride this really, year, though. We still miss They it. had it, but we really had no desire to be there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like... We're not good with crowds. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, we, we are. We really had no setup. Like, we don't really had no friends that was going. But we definitely going to experience We don't know together. nobody. So, that's a check. When we first met, I was actually, like, when we was she first was talking, pride. like... I was at Pride. And on your birthday, and when I was, I was sitting at home alone, and you was at the strip club. I was at a strip club in the bathroom stall, texting her. Sending me little messages. Her. I was faded. I didn't feel no type of way that you was at a strip club. I was on the phone with you the whole time. I, I you wasn't with, on the phone with me. I wasn't with you on the phone you had the no whole signal. time, but. You had no signal, remember? No, that was at Pride, I had no signal. Oh, yeah. And I was trying to text you, text you, text uh, you. Okay. All lesbians have cats. That's a no. <laughs> we it's don't a like no cats. for me. I don't like cats. The only cat I would have is probably the hairless one. The Sphinx cat. That's so cute. I've never been a fan of cats. You've never been a fan of cats? No, I used to be terrified of cats. of cats. Yeah, you are. I'm I ain't that scared no more, but I just don't... I'm not as comfortable around cats, because I'm from New York. Like, the cats are different. The cats built different in New York. Like, it ain't <laughs> no pretty, bra- like, tiger, green eye cat. It's them big black cats with them glowing eyes that just... Ugh. Yeah, but aren't cats like super spiritual? Very, 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 very smart too. Yeah, very wise. They are. Very. And they can land. They have eight lives, huh? I said him, sir. Is that the, is that true? That's a that's a myth. We won't know. Next one is all lesbians love Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> everybody. Yeah, I feel like yeah, that's a good one. Like I loved. I, I made that one out. You made that one yeah. out? Oh my god. I, I like Ellen DeGeneres, but now we, I'm hearing a lot of like, yeah, there's a lot of not stuff. so good things come out about her, but yeah. I don't know how to I think Ellen DeGeneres is cool. You were on the Ellen show. I know. You were on the Ellen show. That's that was funny. funny. I know. When we first started YouTube, guys, we did a. Uh, we did a promo, a sponsorship, a, a collab with uh, Tammy. Tammy, the lesbian dating app. And here goes more <laughs> for y'all. And one of T's clips, Ellen was doing a showcase in the app too, and she was on one of the clips. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, like what is the chance here? Seriously. <laughs> That's lit. It's so funny. Next one, okay, last one. The masculine one in the relationship is the more dominant one. Yes. You know what though? <laughs> but like probably a year and a half ago, I would have definitely said check. But I think we just, we just, 
our dominance is balanced in different areas and aspects of our marriage. Yeah, I think I'm way more dominant now than I was you before. You are definitely. You, she says she calls me a bulldozer. She's a bulldozer. You know I'm what I mean? I'm not a bulldozer. Like, when she want me to do something, when she say to do it, oh child, it better get done. It better get done. No, she because I'm just, I just just want you to be a better person. You know what I mean? That's all a I want. better person to do That's what you want, want me to for do. you, Blink, cool. if you're in <laughs> If you need help, Blink, y'all. <laughs> no, I think it's a balance. It's definitely it's a, balance. a balance. I mean, um, we're not going to question my dominance. It's, it's definitely here, like, just to let y'all know. There's like, no do- I'm, What's I'm, this camera I'm, show? I'm a dominant. Baby, baby. <laughs> that's, and that's, that's a part of the balance. I supported a balance. It's not dominant, like, oh, I got control in this house. No, but like, I, wear the I think pants it's kind of more house. like. No, it's not like that. It's like. It's more different. like, oh, I handle, I handle, sh- I handle this. And yeah, I handle take that care of that. Do Things do need to move. We need authority going here. We're going to get authority going there. We need accountability here. We're going to get accountability there. We, we, we just, it's just a balance. You yeah. got your aspects that you pop in. I got my aspects that I pop in. And sometimes and I it need should to be, be a balance. There should, nobody should wear no pants. Of course. <laughs> Sometimes we, we She got the power because I gave it to her. No. <laughs> we we always debate on that who's 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 the boss. But yeah. we joke around, like we're not actually dead serious. But right now you are like you're here because you you know what I mean? I'm I'm chilling, I'm chilling, I'm taking the backseat, I'm chilling, I'm watching you step into your power because it's honestly a beautiful thing. Aww. So I'm letting you not letting you. No. You, you, you. I'm letting me. Yeah, but I'm just observing. I'm just like, you know what I mean? I see you getting in your bag. I ain't gonna, I love that. I love that shit. All right. You know what I mean? I well, this was good. You know the vibe. Let us know if y'all want a part two. And we need modern, like. Modern series. So we gotta probably get it from them next time. Okay. So y'all let us know if y'all want to see that. You know what I mean? Let us know if y'all enjoy the conversation. Chime in down below. You know what I mean? Say what you feeling, what you thinking, what stereotypes do you fall under? Apparently, I fall under about 90% of them. And I'm cool with that. Whatever. I'm like a good 10%. What do you think? 10%? Yeah. Yeah, you. It can't. I can't put you in a. You can't be. You can't be labeled. Nobody you're, you're can label me. I, <laughs> <laughs> we don't like. We don't we like, don't like, don't like them categories. But you guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. Babe, take us out. Take us out. All right, y'all. We catch y'all in the next vid. You dick. Mwah! <laughs>